Hey everybody, welcome back to Fallout, where we just found Vault 112. We're thirsty, we're tired, and we're, we've got a head wound. Let's hope we can find some uh, something in this vault to help us out.
explore the vault before we get into the lounge. Maybe we'll find something useful. There's someone there. W. Foster. News bomb. News bomb. Rockwell. Rockwell. Unoccupied. Dithers. Unknown. You know who that is? That's who we've been looking for. Subject unknown. Display status. Possible program corruption. Unable to verify resident. Okay. Elevated. Get again! Woohoo! Well. No, it's. I'm still crippled. Hey there, sport. Beautiful day, isn't it? Uh, Say, you should go talk to Betty. She's what? waiting for you over on the playground. Have fun, sport. luck I have lately. Uh -huh. I was just starting to get bored. Oh, we're going to have so much fun. Uh, uh, yeah. so I'm, I'm looking for, for my daddy. You seen him? Gee, I don't know. What's he like? I... Young guy, around 50. 50 or so, you know. I know he's in the hall for... Uh, I'm tempted to use one of these... These two. Oh, they're looking for... 
Dr. Braun. <laughs> That's your daddy? Oh, we're going to have so much fun. This is going to be the best game ever. Uh, uh, I don't know about games, but uh, it's a little on the rude side, but it's just the only one that's really like... Alter. Not particular. I mean, she hasn't been particular until just rather dense. Uh, yeah, sure, whatever. I knew you would. It's a really simple game. All you have to do is make Timmy Newsbum cry. Uh, what, and why am I doing that? It'll be funny. Come on, you'll see. Make him cry, and then come back here, and we'll talk some more. Uh... Uh-huh. Well... Okay, I guess. I don't really have nobody to play with, except for Betty, and she's kind of, well, she's mean. Well, she said I should make you cry. What? No, she didn't. Did she? I don't like her. She's creepy, and she laughs at stuff that isn't funny. Well, I'll see you. Bye-bye. you, buddy. What can I do for you, sport? Well, so who is this Betty kid anyway? Betty? Well, she's Betty, you know. You really shouldn't keep her waiting. I've already talked to her. I just, uh, you are absolutely no help. What about you? Good day to you. What about you? You seen him? Your dad? No, I haven't. I'm sure he's around here somewhere. Can you tell me about this place? Roger suggested we move here. I don't quite remember when that was. It's very nice. We're doing quite well. Uh, well, I gotta go now. Have a great day. Hiya. Is that an actual working on... Oh, I can't get in. Come on, someone pay attention to me. Look at me. Get into all kinds of trouble. Climbing on the cars. See, I'm. Well, I don't want to. I'm going to explore all my options. All of them. What about you? Hiya, kiddo. What's the good word? So, uh. You seen him? Can't say that I have, kiddo. Don't worry. I'm sure he'll turn up. Nice place. Real nice. Everyone's friendly and always happy to lend a hand. Uh, yeah. Yep, you've got that right. Heck of a day to get some work done outdoors. What can you tell me about Timmy? The new spawn boy, huh? Quiet kid. Seems like his parents don't give him much wiggle room. Just between you and me, kiddo, he looks like he's what we'd have called a mama's boy back in my day. Well, I gotta go now. Take care now. These people seem very, um, I don't know, kind of.
kind of off a little bit. So, Betty. Have you gone to see Timmy yet? I have, and I'm not interested in that. You're supposed to be making Timmy cry. You can do it. I know you can. So, when you win the game, maybe we can talk some more. Tell me about this place. Maybe later. First, I want to see how you get along with Timmy. Uh, why don't you tell me about, more about you? Don't you worry about that. You just go have fun with Timmy. Uh, do you really know where he is? Oh, don't worry about that now. There are things to do. Well... Run along now. Good day. Yeah. Well, let's see. Where's... I guess Timmy went home. Where are you, Timmy? Well, hi there. Uh, you see him? No, sweetie, I have it. I'm sure he'll come looking for you before long, though. Seem like it. It sure is, but it always is here. Well, George and I have been here. Why, as long as I can remember. Uh, well, you know, this is a pretty convincing what? simulation. Oh, sweetie. Maybe you oh, should just I run along and play. Slip. Oh, sorry. I gotta Take go. Take care now. Hiya. Hi. Want to play? Yeah. You, you are aware this, is, this isn't real, are you? What? You're weird. Yeah, well, I'll see, see you later. later. Anybody else around here? What's around? There's for sure from the monster journey. supposed to be here. It's not real. None of it. It needs to end. The suffering must end. Ah. So. Finally, someone who knows what's We're going on. We're not really here. We're not really talking. It's all made up. Make believe. We're sleeping. Dreaming. The dream became a nightmare. It has to end. It just has to. But we're not in charge. He is. And he doesn't want us to wake up. Uh, who are you talking about? He calls himself Betty now, but he's still the same. He could put on a new face all he likes, but underneath he's still evil. Braun. Bastard thinks because he helped create this place, he's God here. But I know he still uses the fail-safe terminal. I know it. 
How do you know all this? Don't know. Can't sleep sometimes. Hear voices. My own skin doesn't feel right. None of this is right. You've got to believe me. You've got to find that failsafe. So where is the failsafe? It's in the abandoned house. He doesn't want us going in there because he's afraid we might find it. It's the only terminal to the outside. The only way to shut the whole thing down. You've got to find it. Certainly. Good grief, Timmy. Hello? It's not that bad. I mean... Join Yay! You did it! Good job! My stuff more deader. A clever approach. I'm not sure I would have considered it. Very encouraging. Your reward for winning the game is to ask a single question. I will answer honestly and frankly. So... Okay, so where is he? Ah, yes. A predictable question. It's the I only suppose. reason I'm here. Your father is here, in Tranquility Lane. He is quite safe for now, though he can no longer hound me with his incessant questioning. Perhaps you will see more of him in time. Okay, what have you done to him? Were I you, I'd be more concerned with myself at the moment. And besides, we're done with questions for now. Perhaps we'll address it at a later time. First, I have something else for you to do. What do you want? Pay a visit to the Rockwells. They're very happily married, and I'd like you to change that. Put an end to their marriage, and we'll talk. Nah, I don't really want to do that. Then I'm afraid we have nothing more to say to one another. Well, time to seek alternate routes. The abandoned house. Let's try this one. What is this? Henderson's. Dithers. Where is this? Oh, this is the abandoned house. Safe terminal. Uh, display 
turn version control. Exception is granted for pod 1, manual override pod disabled, run access allowed, run privileges, run access granted. Are we willing to be reasonable now? I ask so very little of you. Okay. I don't really have a choice, do I? There is always a choice. Sometimes it's just easier to make. Yeah. Hey, put I'm already... it. Well. Rationalize it any way you'd like. If you succeed, We'll continue our discussion. Well, let's see. I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm going to head back over to the abandoned house. I'm going to open the, ter uh, the terminal. To open. Access the chain. Can I? school. Time to put that training to work. what you've done! You've triggered the failsafe! Ruined everything! The subjects will die and I'll be stuck here in this hell, alone! You ruined everything! Everything! Isn't it great? It's not over. It is not over until I say so. Do you understand me? I, I, I. You have lost. I just want things to go back the way they were. Oh. Tell me about the Gek. The Garden of Eden creation kit. It was for terraforming, for restoring the world after a nuclear disaster. Unstable technology, and ultimately boring. Why remake the old reality when instead you could create any reality you choose? Well... Oh, I came here for him. Where is he? He's been right here the whole time. And you were too dense to figure it out. The dog, you see. Man's best friend. But now you've taken all my friends from me. Gonna let him out now. 
Yes, I'm sure he's fine. No doubt, when you leave the simulation, he'll be waiting for you. But there's no one waiting for me. Gotta go now. Run along now. Yep. See, this is what happens when you try to make some people do things they don't want to do. When they say no, no means no, Betty. No means no. Son, you've saved me. Yes, I did. I was afraid I'd be trapped in there forever. It's so good to see you, but but what are you doing here? Well, what am I doing here? What are you doing here? Well, I didn't expect Dr. Braun to be alive and insane. I thought I'd just find notes or holotapes. I needed information about Braun and his work on the Gek. Well, did you find what you needed? I did indeed. Braun's work, the Gek, was designed to readapt environments for living after a nuclear war. It's not entirely stable, but I'm sure the components of that technology are just what we need. What we've been missing all this time. I need to return to Rivet City. Once Madison knows about the Gek, I can get her to see that it really will work. So... Need to get back to Rivet City? I can't do this on my own. Madison, Dr. Lee has a team of scientists working at Rivet City. They'll have to help. The facility hasn't been used in years. There'll be enough work for a good number of people. And it will take us a while. The sooner I get to Rivet City, the sooner Madison and I can get to work. Uh, what yes, I mean? what about you? Why in fact are you outside the vault at all? I don't even want to know how you got out. As much as I appreciate your help, you were supposed to stay there, to make a life for yourself there, not out here. Well, you just kind of, you know, took off. You didn't even say anything. If you told me why I was supposed to be there, well, you know... You were then... supposed to stay put. You could have had a good life in the vault. But I suppose it's too late to go back now, isn't it? The Overseer would likely have a shot on sight. Well then, you'll just have to come with me to Rivet City. You've certainly proven yourself capable enough. Yeah, well, tell you what, guys, we're gonna call this episode here, and we will, and we will come back, and we will, uh, we'll finish this. We'll, we'll pick up this conversation in the next episode. So until then, I will see you guys later.